everybody, and welcome to Best Podcast Ever. We're three idiots you don't know. We're going to talk about something different. Oh, we're going to try something new here today. We're going to do a mini episode uh, talking about something we really just wanted to talk about. Yep. Uh, we came to the conclusion that we're going to, every now and then, or uh, perhaps more often than we think, talk about not slot cars and talk about other things we enjoy. So here we have the wonderful N64 game, NASCAR 99. Yes, it is um, my second favorite racing game on N64. <laughs> but The first one's mysteriously missing. I don't... I only probably have about 20 N64 cards in my uh, in my drawer there, and one of them, which is F1 World Grand Prix, is missing. Um, but both of these games have one thing in common, which is an excellent speech f- function from the crew chief. Um, the volume is a little low, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, we need we need the people to hear. Turn it up a bit so you can hear the... music in this. Like, this, this is a good track. The sonic goodness of... No controller. Oh, this was one of the ones that needed the... Uh... The, Hon- me- the weird memory card. Honestly, that was most N64 games. Really? Most did of not, mine. A lot, a lot of them, especially first-party ones, had... The battery in it, ...built-in yeah. batteries, but a lot of them insisted you have a controller. Pack. I probably have a NASCAR 99 save file on one of my controller packs. Let me see if I can fish that out of the drawer. Uh, it wants us to power down and turn on again. Do we care? Um... Let's power down. Well, let me see if I... Yeah, we'll have to power down and play the controller pack scavenger hunt. Right, I'm going to start racing while you're doing that. Yeah, let's not do that. I like how you're Dale Earnhardt racing in Atlanta. <laughs> so what's, what's awesome about this, this is NASCAR 99. However, it's the 50th anniversary of NASCAR 1998. Yes. So we're not going to run with a controller oh, wait. pack. So. I... You don't get to qualify. Wait, you, just quick you race quick literally race. just drop me in. Quick the, race literally yeah. drops you into a race without qualifying. And 20th place. Okay, so Bob let Jenkins me is tell there. you exactly what's going to happen here. Chase view. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow, you're Wait. turning 10,500 <laughs> RPM. <sighs> oh, I'm, well, I'm not upshifting because I really just wanted to T-bone the daylights out of somebody, but now I'm not. So I'm just You could have got your own teammate. What? There we go. Yeah, the car disappears when you hit pause because N64. I like the instant replay feature. Silicone graphics. So how do we... Uh... Single. There we go. Scroll down to where it says one player. Oh, of course. Of course that's how it works. Now you're either Dale or or Jeff Gordon. (laughs) Select car. Oh, I know what car I'm going to use. I could use Sterling... I want to... Wait, hold on. There we go. Oh, I just like oh, the green one. Bobby Levante. Yeah. The car is seen in the window of NJ Hobby, although that's Dale Jarrett's version of it. And Illumina. Rusty Wallace. Oh, it's. I guess it's NASCAR 90, uh, NASCAR 2000 is where Rusty Wallace's car says Rusty on it. Uh, in this one, it says Penske because if Even it the said Kmart logo says like something on the back. Because <laughs> if it said uh, if it said Miller, I would go out and buy some Miller. I mean, oh, I'm a young, impressionable youth with my N64. It's true. All what was Daryl Waltrip sponsored by that, uh... It doesn't... It just says the NASCAR logo. Wait, is that, was that still... Richard Petty? Richard was still racing in... No. No. Where was Richard Petty? That was... The 43 car was, uh... John, oh, John and, and Tr- um, There's Kenny. Ernie Irvin in the Skittles car. Oh, Kenny Irwin. Wow. Oh, memories of when I Oh, Terry Labonte. There we go. Terry, oh, yeah. Let's let's have a brother duel. What did the Sterling Marlin car say on it? Because it almost looks like it says It course. says Sabco. Oh. Chip Ganassi's fat. <laughs> 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 he was too fat to own the team at this point. <laughs> so, some people might be wondering why we're doing this rather than talking about slot cars. We wanted to bring you to where some of our memes come from. <laughs> and Sullivan's meme. And he's best memes. <laughs> and NASCAR 99 has quite a few uh, voice yeah. chip modulators. <laughs> does, does it do it in two-player? We'll find out. We're about we? to find out, yeah. That's currently not the fastest way to run the track. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We're racing at Watkins Glen because comedy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the controls either. I don't so either. I don't remember. I'm going to be in, this. like, the one gear. We're probably auto. Actually, it probably defaults to auto. Yeah, it defaults to automatic. Uh, anyway. That's fine because that's. I, I mean, I, oh, thank you, Mike. Damn. Man, oh, man. Oh, 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 there's my tire. Oh, there there's my tire. Oh, but we have limited damage on, so all you have to do is come to a full stop and then you can drive again. Oh, no. I didn't even driving. come to a full stop. I just kept going. 
I hope actually this does what it does in practice, <laughs> and eventually the tire will just magically come back. For the record, by the way, I'm looking through the mic stand to try to drive my car in a chase view. How do I change views? That would be helpful. Uh, uh, it's probably one of the one of the things I would yeah. like. Oh, no. you just drove through the chicane. Oh, was I not supposed to do that? No. No, although I'm doing it too. That's like how you're going 190 on the back stretch of uh of Watkins Glen. Well, I, don't the, I, don't I don't think they were going that fast. <laughs> oh, there's my other tire. Hey! Benny Parsons is aggressively angry about you hitting stuff. Oh, oh my tire came <laughs> back! <laughs> Look at the body roll with your tire re uh, re airs. <laughs> Just enough physics to. Uh, I think that they should always run the boot, and I was going to go with the. He is not the brake, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. It just locks up immediately. Whoa! They're really going at it. We are really going at it. Right? Uh, what? Are we supposed to tap this? Like, how does this work? I don't know. Oh, there goes the tire. Oh, there goes the tire. <laughs> What's funny about this, the pitting in this, like, is garbage compared to the PlayStation version. And they, in the PlayStation oh, version, Oh, bottom C uh, is change of view. Oh, oh my no. god, I just Jimmy Johnson did. <laughs> I'm in reverse. I'm in reverse. <laughs> Why is it reverse? For those of you uh, who don't know my reference, we're racing on Watkins Glen right now. And I just uh, <laughs> skated downhill through the 90 and Well, you can say the same the thing about what he just did at Pocono a few weeks ago. <laughs> But, he uh, says, I know that should be how I should drive, <laughs> but I just, I can't. But my my earliest memory of Jimmy Johnson, and this again, I haven't followed NASCAR in 10 years, I missed the chicane again, in uh, probably 10 years or more, but, so this was a long time ago. 2000. Oh, jeez. 2000, right, he was still in what was then the Bush series. The 92 Alltel car. That's right. I um, know everything about those years. Lost the, the yeah, so he lost the brakes. Uh, oh my god. Trying to run the boot because that's how you're supposed to run how, the one. How is anybody supposed to, like, that's what I couldn't get about these simulation games on these systems. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm still in the air. Oh, I also went upside down. That's gonna leave. Him. <laughs> how how are any of these simulation games supposed to work when you didn't have a throttle? You had a button. Right, you had a button. And you had a yeah, you had an on-off switch for the throttle and an on-off switch for the brake. It's a little like oh that would, oh you're behind me. How oh because we were both upside down and I ended up in front of you. Oh look at that, the leader's behind us and we get to run another lap. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna affect anything. Who's who's that voice? Ben Corbin. Uh, yeah, Bob Jenkins is eerily silent. He has nothing to say. Unless about you were quicker <laughs> in a certain portion of the track on a certain lap. <laughs> Because sector times on a half mile oval are worthwhile. <laughs> Benny Parsons <laughs> starts talking as he's still talking and finishing another sentence. It's so good. I, I mean, does he have like things to say when people do well? Probably. I haven't. You know, it's been so long since I played this game for serious that I have no clue. I was gonna. I, I don't think I. I remember renting this game and just never being good at it. It's, I really want some Starburst. Right it's now. a. <laughs> And some husk for <laughs> I gotta buy a <laughs> and chainsaw put, and cut up some Starburst. To, to put an interstate battery in my car. <laughs> While eating Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Mixed with Starburst. They're crunchy. <laughs> hey, look, I actually made it through a couple of corners. I, I don't understand how this is supposed to work. Like, uh, I think... The lesson, I believe, that this game was trying to teach you was that NASCAR should not run road races because I always thought that the best. But like, I I'm enjoy them for comedy value. <laughs> I've done other NASCAR sims. I've done like Michael Waltrip. Have you done the Papyrus sim? Because they were pretty. Those good. were really good. I used to paint my own cars. Yeah, I used to do that too. Day. Those were those were good. Those were. Uh, Oh, there's the Hot Wheels car? Yeah, Kyle Petty's. Oh, yes, Hot beer Strickland. Racing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna, Strickland propane. I'm, I'm going to be Dick Trickle. Because <laughs> every kid in 1999 <laughs> growing up wanted to grow up to be Dick Trickle. I'll be a Dale Earnhardt. What do you want to race? Seriously. <laughs> no, no, no. That's too much adventure. So, in this, this is before Martinsville. I'll go back for a sec. Martinsville was picked, um, oh, that's right. so I would always cut down the pit lane, that's slow right. me down on purpose, and take the short way around and just murder everyone. That's right. Actually, it would break for you when you went yep. down there. Yeah. All right. Let's do Martinsville. 
I used to, yeah, I used to be the king of Martinsville because of that, because I would just cheat my ass off. Beauty rest. Man, old 3D graphics have not aged well. <laughs> oh! Oh, man, here we go. oh my god! I've never seen a car flip in Whoa! I, I, it it has to enable an anti-stuck method. <laughs> it spawned us on top of each other. Um. But if we could play F1 World Grand Prix, what you would see is that actually the graphics in that have aged reasonably well, except for all the fog. You <laughs> uh, could have went into the crowd. <laughs> um, except for, obviously, they rely on fog a lot, as N64 games did. Well, Notice right now the that in this game, just... the track is just popping up in the distance. There's yeah. not even fog. Like, there's no shame. <laughs> just the short draw distance. That... Just pop-ups. Oh, the braking isn't happening. Kevin, when was the last time you played this? Why? Yesterday. Because you're doing, like, good okay, at it. Okay, yeah. Uh, you're doing okay. <laughs> I mean, you're nowhere near where the AI cars are. So think about flipping on the first slide. <laughs> <laughs> and then getting respawned under another car. <laughs> Ryan, you oh. should go back to your apartment. Race the vintage race games. Come back. Be victorious. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow! Uh, There's more than a couple laps. Is there a way to... Hold on. Oh, it's kind of... So remember when I was talking about the dead air? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we were just episodes? playing the game instead of talking, yeah. Because that's exactly what happened. It was happening right now. We have zero content for people. Well, you want to hear what they're saying. I, I suppose that's a joke, but we don't have a video aspect. Yeah, that's true. Well, you can't see Benny Parsons on screen saying, Oh, there goes a the tire. Unless I make the still for this episode, the picture of him in the recliner. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we could have a couple of... I mean, I feel like this episode will work well if Mike actually edits it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, this won't go up for... Episode, minutes. Episode canceled. <laughs> Oh, How hard is it that I got here hard. two times in two weeks? Oh man, so much TV magic going on. And by TV magic, I mean the magic that's happening on this TV we're looking at, yeah. guys. Did yeah. everyone have a great um, <laughs> July July, <17th>? <laughs> Jul July 28th? <laughs> it's uh, August now. Hey, oh. Internet fans, do you want to listen to 15 minutes of Inside Jokes in Dead Air? Do we have the podcast for you? <laughs> do you want to watch Dick Trickle go around the track backwards and kill himself way before he did now? <laughs> That's right, he did. If he doesn't look out, he's going to cut a tire. <laughs> so, or his throat. Not really sure how he went. This was really at the height of... Oh, my God. This was at the height of the popularity of NASCAR, I would say. I, I mean, think I'm legit catching up. This is when... It, this was when NASCAR was on TV Guide covers. And <laughs> Whoa! You could buy that NASCAR merchandise in the supermarket. I feel like NASCAR was kind of at its highest, at least it was highest in my mind during the push years. Maybe. And then, and then America, like, sobered up and they were like, why are we watching this again? <laughs> NASCAR took off in the mid-90s, uh, actually with Jeff Gordon, ironically, who was... You know, everyone hated him that was a hardcore NASCAR fan, and yet he was the reason NASCAR exploded because they had a reasonably good looking once he got rid of that mustache. Oh, god, that <laughs> mustache <laughs> and the mullet, yeah. The 80s aren't over, damn it. There's a lot of dick trickling happening. <laughs> Is it gonna make you finish all 15 laps, too? <laughs> Yeah, they don't flag you after the leader finishes. You have to finish. Well, the best part about this game was if you were to cut it, you could be 50 laps ahead, but if you crashed on lap 499 or something, you finished last. <laughs> yeah, because nobody else ever DNF for any reason. Oh, you're winning. Wow. Uh, you should really destroy him. I'm like. trying. Oh, no, I missed him. <laughs> I helped him out actually because yeah. I took out the guy. You took out Steve Grissom, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Steve Grissom. Woo! It just doesn't get any better. Oh, they're not going to make him finish the race. That's a shame. What? What world are we living in where Kevin is so competitive <laughs> that he actually managed to win a race that he exploded on lap one? Uh, anyone else want to try? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's it's certainly more fun to the people who can see what we're doing when it's me versus Mike. Yeah. Ooh, Bill Elliott in the generic cars. Uh, who do we who do we got here? Who can you pick on? Oh, Mark Martin. I used to pick Mark Martin a lot. Uh, I'll play as Mark I, Martin. Can you imagine him dri Like, it's funny, he drives the Valvoline car, the Viagra car. <laughs> It's gotta start with Was me. he on Viagra when he drove? I mean, how could the wheel turn? <laughs> Actually, where is... Did it get cut, caught in the bottom spoke? I'm trying to find Andretti, because Andretti's one of those names where you're like, Andretti's a name of racing heritage, and then he showed up to NASCAR it's John and Andretti. crashed <laughs> He's everywhere. He's got cancer now, too. Yeah. He's sick. Race him. It's like Zeppo Lamborghini. Ted Musgrave. Like. Oh, Ted Musgrave in the Prime Star car. I like Ted... What was it before Prime Star? It was the Family, family Channel. Channel. Prime Star was the poor man's direct TV. Oh, we're going to Pocono, by the way. Oh God. Okay. Well, I want to die. Is what I want to do. <laughs> Why are you running Dave Marcus then? Am, am I dead yet? <laughs> Can you kill me? Pocono, um, not not an ideal venue for NASCAR, and yet they go there twice a year, every year since 1974. Isn't it like? Oh God! How am I supposed to turn? Break. I love those I two hit the STP and just, stickers surrounding the toilet STP. company. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. What the oh, hell all is, the people you could have hit. What the hell is STP anyway? It doesn't exist in this timeline. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I'm racing it. This is the BTE car. Like I said, driven by Zeppo Andretti. <laughs> wow, that looked like that Steve Park deal. Yes, it did. Oh, man. Yes, I'm going to see how far away I can get from you. Oh, press gas. <laughs> yeah, that's how you respawn. That's how you... Look at NASCAR that. Series Cup. <laughs> uh, see, now I'm just death spinning. Oh, there we go. Ugh. This race brought to you by Goodyear. There I goes the tire. I can't... What the is sound that? of your tire going down is so good, too. What is the gauge on the left? I know the gauge on the right is my fuel. I think that's a damage meter? But it's irrelevant because we have limited damage on so the car I mean, just respawns if it, you it, die. It's like they had the idea of we're doing a simulation game but we're also doing it on a Nintendo console. So, so you can pick up and play, yeah. Yeah. Because Nintendo wouldn't have it any other way. Well the best part was the car setting screen where you could like take Wedge out make your car go faster but that little pyramid thing would always keep it in the middle and that yeah. always wound up being where the car would probably be at its best. Well, at least oh, the thing on the left is how much of a draft you're getting off the guy in front of you, because when I got behind you and started climbing. Okay. Interestingly, physics are so good in this game that somebody being behind you doesn't cause you to go any faster, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but, you know, whatever. Even in the later games, the car in the front never... Never really got any... Like, Boinkin', my tire's magically back! <laughs> Come back, Mike. I was I, I was too busy drafting Mike, so I hit the same wall he hit, but faster because I was drafting him. <laughs> We're only half a lap behind the other cars. That that's considered a small amount in NASCAR, right? They don't go by car length; they go by number of laps you're behind. Yeah, they go by. That was what Jimmy Johnson did uh, <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Bye. Yeah. Looks like you got some heavy damage. Ugh. I, I kind of wish we could take the AI in this game and just make them as derpy as we are. I feel like it'd be you funnier. Could? We're not in this version. Tycho, Tycho, Tycho. Ah, you got me. <laughs> Chris, um, turn the mic around on the TV. So, yeah, Brian just brake checked me, and I ran into him so hard I got a. There goes the tire. That's okay, the game's getting me back for tapping the wall. I like how it's rubber banding us, but it's not rubber banding the AI car. It's like, Damn it. It recognizes that we're just racing each other, I guess. <laughs> and that's, a, again, up until the original Forza, I could never do a simulation game because it was always like... Yeah, the, the inputs were just totally crazy. I mean, They would design the cars to like race on some sort of magic land. <laughs> where... I like how if you hit the brakes at all, like the car just wants to spin out. Yeah. Well, I finally got good at the Pencil. two Pencil. games we did last time. The uh, Allensers Jr. and um, Danny Sullivan. And Danny Sullivan. Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of why we decided to do this, is because we, we had a conversation going about video games, and we decided to pick it back up and see if we could make it entertaining. I think we can all agree we failed. We're just playing video games now. We happen to be reporting. Yeah, this is totally self-indulgent. I think if Sorry. anything, social media has taught us lately, it's... 
It's not what you want to hear. I can't, I can't hear you, Kevin. I'm dragging on the wall pretty hard right now. <laughs> well, you didn't blow a tire. Ow! I like how your fenders keep coming back. <laughs> but if anything that the internet has taught us, it's to just talk about things that you like. You don't have to show it. You're good at it. <laughs> we should probably find a way to record our game footage. Yeah. If you talk about something, people don't care about to watch it. What? <laughs> what's your What's your logic there, big guy? <laughs> You're talking about something people don't care. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh uh, God, me! You blew a rear tire. <laughs> but now I have a whole new car. I respawned my old car, so now... I still don't have my rear uh, <laughs> spoiler. Yeah, no. your hood it looks like it's higher than the, <laughs> <laughs> the roof. My my car is thoroughly BTE. Yep. It's gonna be a shootout. To the <laughs> Where is Bob Jenkins at on all this? I think he retired. His ears are burning right now because somebody's actually talking about him. Oh, you mean from this game? In the, where is he in this race right now? Yeah, where is he in the game? I mean... Well, he said there's one lap to go. But in, I believe in real life he retired because his wife had cancer. Or and then there's another Bob Jenkins that is part owner in a team. Come on, actually make a turn for once. No. Also, how come the... Uh, oh, my God. The BTE Andretti car is represented in this game by a brown dot? <laughs> That's a good question. I was wondering about that myself. Because it's red and blue put together. <laughs> well, like, why is, purple? <laughs> why is my blue and yellow car represented then by a blue dot and not a purple? Uh, not a green dot. Green. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever blue and yellow, man. It's unknowable. Hey, we, we gotta make this Andretti car in the game. What color should he get rep to represent him? I don't know what's left. Uh, we have shit shingle brown <laughs> and not representing him. Uh, I guess we'll give him brown? It represents the brown skull car that was his debut car in IndyCar, I think. Look out! Look out! Alright, where's the finish even? This You're right, getting there. Oh, uh, alright. I beat my... Yay! Wow, look at that car. Uh, so we got about ten minutes left. Do we have any other video game on the planet we want to play? <laughs> Let me see uh, what else. I actually have the rare Indy Racing 2000, which is even worse. I... Uh, Cue it up. Yeah, all right. Let's do, do we it. just play horrible racing games from now on? I'm okay with that. They're the angry racing nerds. <laughs> James Rolfe for calling you out. <sighs> Kevin doesn't know your name. <laughs> Is this actually a rare game? Uh, I couldn't find it for a long time. Oh, okay. I don't know how rare it is. I think nobody bought it, so it was hard to find secondhand. But I, w I couldn't find it firsthand. Either uh, that was right before the internet became the way of getting games. So, uh, well, it's always weird, like what's considered Ooh, a rare game. Yeah, you would think this would be okay because it's infograms. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, that we're, 90s. We're going to a rave at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> okay, I think no, that's uh, what that series of rectangles was. Two player. So the only thing better than a terrible racing game is a terrible racing game based on a series that was at its absolute bottom. Oh, we have to just pick our drivers one at a time. Buzz Calkins. <laughs> Robbie Buell. Uh, Tice Carlson. Uh, <laughs> when I say, like, this was the absolute bottom of the bar. Oh, Roberto Guerrero, age a million. <laughs> uh, you could be either of the unloved Unser brothers. Oh, is oh Billy Boat in this? Maybe. I'm going to say, yeah. oh, Stefan Guego. <laughs> I, I'm doing Ron so McGee. much frowning right now. <laughs> what are you know, Scott Goodyear. <laughs> so, oh, Greg oh, Ray. Oh, Greg Ray was one of my favorite drivers. There Billy he is. Boat. Billy Boat. Boat. <laughs> I'm bored Boat. just looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, oh, Sam Schmidt when he had legs. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh man, what I was going to do was try and pick the most BT color car, but I got into such a there stupor go, of what was going on. So, for those of you who know nothing about IndyCar racing, the... I mean, IndyCar racing was probably at its peak in, say, 1995. And then Tony George, who owned the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, said, This is too good. What's happening right now is too good. <laughs> I'm going to start my own series. And the only asset that series will have will be that my track will be on the schedule because I won't let Cart run on my track anymore. Um, <laughs> so now you had two competing series running 
a vaguely similar type of racing. By the way, the sound in this is the sound of turbocharged cart indie cars. Um, and said, you know what, let's have a bunch of no-name drivers driving oh, garbage cars, but they will be allowed to race on my track and people will love it. Um, so We're not it, putting damage on. It was an absolute debacle for the first five years. How come, how come grip is lowest? That seems the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I go to setup. Maybe you can give yourself some more wing. There you go. Because you have the wing dialed all the way out. You have way too much tire pressure. Wait, how do I adjust anything? I Oh, there we go. Oh, because the thing that's highlighted is yellow, is green, and the thing that's not highlighted is okay, a slightly different Okay, I'm good with my setup right? now, because I definitely need some grip in a racing sim where I have the on-off gas pedal. Yeah. Um, so, it's just, it's kind of hilarious that they made a racing game of indie car racing using the logo for Nintendo Power on the cartridge label, uh, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they both kind of had that going on. Yeah. But, uh, like, of, I guess they thought that they could, like, you know, put out the dumpster fire that was IndyCar Racing in 2000 if they released an N64 game of it. Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Immediate! Oh, my God! Oh, what? so tight! <laughs> Oh, Brian, you fixed your grip in 90 degree turns at 120 miles an hour! <laughs> Oh Interestingly, the engine mode in the game is the same as NASCAR 99, which was true at this time, because they were running uh, pretty big, although they were yeah, they were running big cross-plane V8s, 4-liter uh, Oldsmobile and Nissan V8s. Uh, oh my god, I was so used to the NASCAR, like, yeah, oh my god! This is so touchy. And they just took the, I mean, they took what was a relatively high-tech racing series in the 90s and turned it into an absolute joke in terms of the cars. Ah. And the drivers, and then they made a really crappy video game of it. I don't know. Maybe Sharp, I Sharp don't... still races in uh, endurance. He runs the Patron car, right? Yeah. Was Scott Sharp one of the drivers you could pick there? Yeah, he was the Delphi car. Oh, that's right. He was always, that car was always like marketed for some reason because it was like, UAW. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I had like oh, RC God. cars oh, of it. That was one of the decent cars in this era. And then eventually, Little Al became his teammate. Actually, when he lost his job at Penske. He came over to the IRL, uh, gave up on Carl altogether. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm actually doing okay. Oh, oh, like I, I have pizza did cutters. you turn damage off completely? Yep. Yeah. We, I did that for a very obvious reasons, and we're still in the lowest places. Well, I would have. I mean, you haven't even seen another car since the pace lap because you guys crashed the second the green came out. Whoa! Oh, there's there another goes, car. There goes Kevin. I can't no. believe there's no commentary in this game. I mean, this is 2000. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that was uh, an awesome head on collision. <laughs> His car went back. Take that, Buzz Calkins. You're an unworthy season champion. <laughs> wow, I actually. That long way screen is totally keeping me from seeing where I'm going. <laughs> You're driving pretty much like Greg Ray at this point. <laughs> Guess who it what, was? One wrecking into the first corner, didn't yeah. he? Oh, got past you. No, it's I, funny because you go into any. You know, forum where people are talking about about racing. If you find where people are talking about IndyCar racing, you Thank will you find can. some IRL like loyalists who will be like, "Greg Ray was a great driver. It's a good thing that they made a series where he could finally get a chance." <laughs> Wasn't uh, he a champion? He was. Uh, I mean, among Buzz Hawkins and so? s like racing the Gardner. astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> there was a man. There was a man whose name was <laughs> Slick Racing Gardner. That is a type of man, a man whose name is that. What is it? Slick Racing Gardner. I just drove across the entire infield, by the way. Just for those of you at home keeping score. Speaking of keeping score, the laps on this, this is a 40 lap 40 race. 40 lap race. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, it, we, somebody want to tag out here? I, uh, Abort race. Uh, we're, we're aborting. Oh, uh, let Mike race. Oh, when in doubt. Uh, okay, I guess we're wow. going back into this. <laughs> oh my oh. god. The handling is ungodly. Like you, you really literally have ten thousand pounds of downforce, <laughs> forcing on Gregory's. Yeah, deck. but all of it's on the front wing, and none of it's on the rear wing. I it's mean, like, if it's you, like if there's a giant standing on the front of my car. If you're super careful, you can kind of make the turns. Oh, hey, Scott Goodyear. Why are your eyes closed? <laughs> is it because you have to listen to Eddie Cheever? <laughs> 
<laughs> Did they, like, take all their time, like, putting the pictures in and making sure the pictures look good that they just started ignoring the rest of the... I think, yeah, because they were like, driver headshots, that'll work, that's what'll move carts. That's what the kids are like <laughs> these days. The kids are like, like men. <laughs> headshots of middle-aged men. We told you how fat Chip could ass he is. <laughs> uh, he wasn't here, though, because he was still in card. This is when... Although 2000 is the year that Juan Montoya crossed over uh, with Chip Ganassi's team. Isn't that the year Bo Brandenburg fought to the last race uh, with Jimmy Bly for the card championship? <laughs> I believe that's correct, yes. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost I'm, ride the whip. <laughs> I'm impressed that you remember the names of the characters from Driven because I <laughs> pressed them a Do you know long what time ago. Sylvester Stallone's name was? No. Joe Tanto. Oh, that's right. Oh, I just obliterated somebody. Oh, it was you. Hey, <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> I was turning into you. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. We need to turn damage on. This is... Fine. I want to see how quickly we can shear all four wheels. It's going to be the, the moment we say go. Let me say this. If I can find F1 World Grand Prix, you will be shocked that you cannot... It is not possible in the game engine to lose all four wheels off the car. God knows I've tried. You can only... What, what is auto damage? What's the opposite of auto damage? <laughs> Length short? Is there super short? No, nope. I guess short's gonna be like. Well, it looks like I'm going to game gallery tomorrow to get a F1 Grand Prix for seven dollars. <laughs> I cannot begin to imagine where my copy of it went. What's going on here? You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna race it as is. Do you, you want to fix your car, Mike? <laughs> no. You got damage on. You gotta hit start at least. Yes. Yeah, it's on. No, let's pick a race. Uh, actually, pick a track. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> What has, like, the, the nicest, like... There we oh, go. Oh, God. <laughs> nice, nice easy turns. Well, I mean, it is basically a bowl. Hooray. Yeah, we just picked Dover. And if you don't think that Dover is an appropriate track for IndyCars, you're correct. <laughs> um, but here we go. Oh, uh, when the IRL started, they were really not sure what they were doing. They decided that... Uh, right turns were the root of all evil <laughs> so they only wanted to race on ovals and you know there are a limited number I mean there's a finite number of ovals so it's a really short track it's a mile yeah it just looks bigger than a mile yeah oh, they I, I started, think I accidentally pitted they started running basically the NASCAR schedule so they had a race at Dover and they had a race at Richmond and they had uh, two races in Atlanta oh god I mean that's how Texas got it on the IndyCar schedule How'd that work out for Dan Wilder? That was Las Vegas. Oh. Uh, oh <laughs> we got a real ring damage. I He's still on the oh, car. Oh, there's though. my front. Oh, Kenny Breck wrecked really Kenny hard. Kenny Breck was the one that wrecked really hard in Texas. Yeah. What? Wow. What? <laughs> you just hit the end of the pit wall. <laughs> that was a Matt. That was a move. Kevin Kogan move. <laughs> I, it's dropping so many frames that yeah, you've lost the wing now. You've lost your rear wing. Already, come on in. <laughs> oh, it oh, came back. Oh, it's back. <laughs> Wait, it magic back? It's blinking red, but uh, it's there. I, well, my front end's slowly healing, too. I guess I guess that's what auto damage meant. It automatically gets better. It automatically Who heals. just wrecked there? <laughs> I don't know. It was neither of us, which is surprising. Oh. God damn wow. it, Brian. I like how much we're wrecking and no yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that just occurred to me. Again, it's There were it's no one cautions in NASCAR 99 either. Yeah, I guess we had that turned off. I guess that's a setting. Uh, well, my entire body's broken now, <laughs> according to the damage. <laughs> including the driver, by the way. I oh, mean, I'm sure the driver would have been very dead after that crash. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, the driver is actually one of the features that's noted on the damage diagram. Oh, yeah. It, it auto healed. Oh. The only thing it won't heal is my front wing. <laughs> Probably because it's Don's. Well, I lost my rear wing and it came back. <laughs> wow, the way that looked on the screen. <laughs> I'm just trying to push other cars into you now. Some sweet tire noises on this. Pick up some frames that are lying on the ground because it's <laughs> dropping so many. <laughs> oh, man. Where's Billy Boat at? <laughs> Kevin, tap in while I end the episode oh, here. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if this one's going to see the light of day, guys. I like this one. Oh, I'm on the top now. I like the idea of this one. I like the idea of this one. This might get released as a five-minute short. Oh, I think this whole thing is good. That's a lot of editing you're putting on me, Brian. I say post a whole video. This is great. Fuck you, Chip Ganassi. 
This okay, so <laughs> this this Why has not been best podcast now, the other ever. Way. <laughs> this has been the road to hell brick number one. Yep. We'll see you guys for road to hell brick number two. In like which this. we continue our march to being a lifestyle brand. <laughs> We're just going to put BTE on things that have nothing to do with anything. I like the idea of doing, like, Ponzi schemes, actually. <laughs> uh, you know, like, going door to door. <laughs> Should I just, like, put an evidence number on this now? That'll be the name of it. Whoa, what? The state of New Jersey versus BTE <laughs> evidence 0021. Um, I also do Bitcoin if you want to throw that in there. <laughs> Right, guys. Uh, we don't know what we're gonna do with this. We don't know if this is the best podcast ever or something we're gonna trash immediately. Oh, there's more than four years. Thank <laughs> yeah, there's five. Thanks for joining us on this little adventure. We will catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>